We are uh, working intensively on setting up the European Union capacity of medical equipment, the so-called RESCUE. We have already signed the first contract, the first EU member state to host this European capacity is going to be Romania. The contracts have been signed. The first batch of equipment ventilators has been ordered and it is now up to the supplier to deliver it. Uh, I would not want to speculate how much time the supplier will need to do that, but we are expecting it soon. We are also in touch with some other member states who have shown preparedness, readiness to procure and host the uh, medical equipment for the rescue, European Reserve, and we are advancing with some of them as fast as we can. Thank you, Commissioner. The second question will come from uh, Rosa Jimenez uh, from the Spanish news agency EFE. I would like to know if you foresee a date for the arrival in Spain of the medical equipment to be acquired by public procurement. Do you know if the orders have already been placed and the contracts signed? Do you think the Commission should have more competences in crisis management in the future and not only a role of coordinator? As you know, the Commission has launched four joint procurement procedures and some of them are nearing completion. It will now be up to the member states who participated in this joint procurement to place the orders with the suppliers that were selected and thereafter for the suppliers to deliver the ordered goods. Again, it depends both on member states and the suppliers to do this fast uh, and it depends on them how fast they will do it and how many days it will take for the first medical equipment to go to member states, including to Spain. As for the competencies, uh, it is clear that uh, health measures, uh, that uh, civil protection, uh, border management, things like that, these are competencies of member states and the European Union, European Commission plays supportive and coordinating role. So we try to do our best, uh, but we should not lose sight of the fact that these are the competencies of member states. We try to have them act in a coordinated and aligned manner. We are doing our best. Uh, as for this to be changed, uh, you know that this would involve uh, treaty changes, and this is a long and not an easy process. So we have to do with what we've got, and we're trying to do that to our best ability. Thank you. And the last question will come from Michael Peel from the Financial Times. There have been reports from EU countries, including Germany and France, of cargoes of medical equipment being seized and diverted to the US. Has the Commission investigated this problem? And if so, what is its understanding of what is happening here? In particular, is this simply a case of US customers outbidding European customers? Or do the Commission and member states believe US authorities are directly or indirectly causing these cargoes to be diverted? We are aware of such reports. Uh, we do not have investigative powers so that we would investigate this kind of uh, reports. But we are especially aware of one fact. There is a global scramble for personal protective equipment, for other types of medical equipment, because there is a challenge for everyone involved. This virus has spread faster and further than anyone expected. This has resulted in a shortage of supply and a increase, dramatical increase in demand. And when you have that, it's difficult, it's difficult to arrange that uh, uh, an, orderly, an orderly procurement, and especially it's not easy to arrange that the medical equipment goes to those who need it most. The fact is also that there are very many out there who need it very badly, and the number may even increase. That's why the Commission is trying to mitigate uh, the impact of this kind of situation when you have such severe imbalance between the demand and supply. That's why the Commission has uh, uh, conducted uh, intensive efforts to stimulate European production of medical equipment, to increase the supply of this equipment. It has launched 
four joint procurement procedures. It is planning further joint procurement procedures because that also helps to pull all those who need this equipment together and, and conduct a joint procurement process. And finally, the Commission also decided to, to set up um, European capacity once it became clear, it became clear that there is a general pan-European problem in the supply of medical equipment. This became clear at the end of February, early March, when there was a lack of response to Italian request. As, an, as you know, the situation has improved since, but the Commission immediately, immediately started to work on creating such European capacity. For that, we needed to expand our legal basis. For that, we needed agreement by member states. We got that in mid-March, and in, on March 19, we had all things in place for creation of such capacity. We are now working on that, and we are advancing. We already have, as I said, signed the first contracts, and we expect the delivery of the first items in the coming days. Thank you very much. With that, our press event has come to an end. Thank you, Commissioner, for coming down and briefing us on the latest, and thank you for all the viewers for being with us. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.